Hello and welcome guys. Let's dive back into the world of tanks. Are you ready? This is God of Slumber and the sto story of today is something a bit rare. I would like to believe it's the T23 E3 medium American tank. Now, uh, I got this thanks to my clan, the LVPRK, the Thunder. Latvian Thunder um, for participating in the Operation Safari Clan Wars event. So, uh, to get this tank, we the clan had to be at least in the top 70 spot and remain there. So, we got it, the whole clan got it, and uh, this is it. Now, uh, reviewing this tank, so I've never driven it before, neither, neither on test servers nor anywhere else, but um, the characteristics, well, they, they don't look too good. So, hit points, so-so, okay, 1050, um, do I have a tier 7 medium? So the A44 has a 50 more, okay. Um, Weight 36 tons, that's without modules. This is 38 with, okay. This is a bit, uh, the A44 is a bit heavier. Fine, um, top speed 56 miles, uh, 56.3 kilometers an hour. And traverse speed 40. Uh, yeah, 59 and 44. So the difference is quite noticeable. As for the armor, it's more or less basically non-existent at all 76 millimeters I, I i guess this this is the third armor that's 76 millimeters now this plate <laughs> even though it is sloped this is also 76 millimeters so basically i can sneeze on it and it's gonna punch through if we take a look at maybe hull armor of E25 it's just 16 uh, millimeters less but the slope is I would like to say a little bit bigger than on the T23 uh, and the bad news doesn't stop there as for the gun 76 ca millimeter caliber the fire rate is pretty decent, so 18.18 rounds a minute, but the, the average penetration is 128. Okay, 128 millimeters at a tier 7. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much can that punch through. Can that punch through the T29? Sorry, got to pull. Sorry for the cut. Uh, yeah, so returning to T23. Um, nothing, nothing good I can say about the characteristics of this tank. So let's fit it up with some modules and let's see what we can do with this thing. Um, so, since the reload time is pretty fast, I'm just going to put up a ventilation. Um, other than that, let me see the difference between view ranges. View range. Okay, let's 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 enhance the view range when it's stationary and put on a camouflage node because this is not going to be a close quarters combatant. Th this is definitely not an assault tank. This is I don't know what the fuck this is, but well, at least I got it, so it's nice. And the crew trains faster, and yada yada, and so on. Uh, just in case. I'm gonna put some IPCR rounds. Now a lot of people are, people are 
uh, where I've heard a lot of people discussing whether to put HE or not to put HE shells in the tank. Uh, my advice is always definitely, absolutely have at least three to five HE rounds. Trust me, unless you're a complete shit noob and shoot gold in random, like spam, spam it out of a BB gun. Um, trust me, especially I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use more HE rounds than AP rounds on this thing because a hundred, hundred and twenty something penetration on an AP round is pretty much worthless if I can detract an enemy and let my teammates do damage. So, uh, small aid kit, repair kit, and automatic. Automatic scheme. Uh, right. Automatic. No, I don't want to spend it all. So that's 11 grand there. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's dive into battle. And here we go. One. Move out. Move out. Alright, so 3.48 seconds of reload time. Um, I don't know, I can't penetrate IS-2 with it. B-25 is the first thing I can at least pretend I can penetrate, so the speed, yeah, the speed is terrible, the acceleration is terrible. Um, will it even get me up to the hill? Let's see, precision. What I would usually do is I would play a battle, keep their support. Yep, already taking damage. Yay. I would report a video after the battle. A replay, I would watch the replay and comment as I play, as it, as it plays, but uh, this time I thought I'm gonna screw it and just pretend to show you that I can do something so you know I'm not like playing 50 battles and then showing you the best one if you remember the first battle with the if you've seen my Shinokai review and you, okay don't know where that shell went but obviously it had somewhere else to be some place else to be okay 101 damage, first damage of this tank, yay! So if you remember Chinookai review, first battle lasted approximately 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more, I got burned alive, it was nice, it wasn't nice, but it was a thing that happened, wow, the precision of this thing is, um, Enemy yeah, armor it, it, is, is it is a precision. Wow, the reload is just terrible. It's gonna be the first kill. Yes, it is! Uh -huh. The first kill is a T29 tier 7 heavy tank. Woohoo! I can't believe I just actually ended. Ready? And another kill! Don't die yeah. two kills for the T23 underdog. Wow! What a start! And I've been set afire already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it, this tank is such a. Such a strange little thing. Well, if you uh, play properly, I guess it can be pretty good. Wait, how the, how the fuck did you get through there? I'm gonna help me with that. Oh, of course, so yeah, nobody can help me. Which is the antenna is damaged. We can only talk. And We're that's good it for everyone. Get out. Thank you, E25, for destroying my tank. So 739 damage on this tank, two frags. As you can see, this is not a close quarters combat tank. Hide and seek behind corners, careful combating. Maybe it can do something and not be completely worthless. As far as I'm concerned, not the best tank. Uh, compared 
compared to other tier 7 medium tanks I would have to say even though this is a, keep in mind this is a premium tank so you get experience more and credits more and uh, crew trains 50% faster and so on and so on the characteristics could have been just a little bit better a little tiny 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 little bit better so what the fuck is T37 doing he's being weird or something or are you not being dead so the only person with two kills is me, okay I admit I fragged a little, the Hellcat was a one shot, still though, 4445, 20, 25, so on, yeah, so thank you very much and that's it for today. review of the battle. Wow, I'm not the last by experience and not the last for, by damage, which is nice. So yeah, 11 shots, 7, seven actual hits. Jeez. Well, bonus for premium tier. Let's see, not the best. But at least I survived for 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Yay! That's basically more or less it. So managed to five hits on T29, which total up to 550 damage. God damn it! Wow, really? I mean, really? I don't know. Maybe a gun rammer is the thing you should put on this tank, and maybe gives you gives you a better reload, but. Other than that, 127 millimeter penetration. God damn, it could have given it, give it at least some slack. It's pretty high uh, compared to the A44. Okay, well, A44 is like super low, like an F1 car or something. But uh, could have given at least some some sort of edge. Okay, maybe speed um, compared to the super person t2064 okay it's a tier 8 but this thing has a piece of shit penetration um depression uh, the sorry dispersion at 100 meters is quite awesome uh, 0 0.38 the penetration for a tier 8 170 70, 70 millimeters is like uber shitty i think yeah Hellhead was uh, 160. But this thing is slow as fuck, but this thing has at least some sort of armor. It, it has something called an armor. What the, what the hell is, is this thing supposed to be? I have no idea. But, uh, well, it says also in the description that no proto uh, prototype was manufactured, but never saw battle and never entered mass production uh, yeah it, it, I don't know I got it for free and all I had to do is uh, make the minimum 5 battles to get this tank uh, thank you for uh, thank you for my clan uh, commanders for giving me the opportunity to get this tank more or less that's it, I don't know uh, as you can see it caught fire real fast okay the crew is at 88 percent so they got that going for them which is not nice but other than that it's really tough to say i would have to say if you compare it to chinukai wait what 100 and so this is a tier 5 medium it has 124 millimeters of penetration on its gun and this thing has 128 so yeah if I have to vote between this and that the Chinukai definitely takes the cake it may be slower but and it doesn't have much of an armor but at least this thing has a competitive penetration for a tier 5 tank this thing has no penetration for a tier 7 tank more or less thanks for watching and see you on the next one
Sorry about the terrible sound. My microphone broke down and I had to use the built-in one that's in my laptop. So I got to fix that. So see ya.